Hey, my name is Rachel. I'm a sophomore studying media studies, and today I'm going to be showing you around Cheney Hall at Unit 1. Every Cal student will need their Cal 1 ID card to get into their residence hall, the elevators, and the stairwells, like this. So first we're going to be showing you inside the Unit 1 triple. This is the most common room, so come on inside. There's three beds. This one is bunk style, and this one is the loft bed. It has a beautiful view. You can see the campanile from this room. So these are the beds. They are twin XL, so make sure to buy that size when you're getting your bedding. This back here is corkboard, so if you want to hang up posters, you can use thumbtacks and make your room feel a little bit more like home. If you want, you can hang things from the top of the bed here, and there's about 17 inches of space underneath the bed in case you need a little bit more storage. These beds are pretty comfortable, but if you want it to feel more like your bed at home, feel free to bring a mattress topper or something to make the bed a little bit more comfortable. So every room comes with a refrigerator, a freezer, and a microwave, plus plenty of storage space that a lot of students use to put perishable items like chips. Most students do eat in the dining hall, so this is great for storing snacks you want while you're studying, or if you have leftovers, things like that, but there is plenty of space and plenty of ways to keep your food cool and to warm it up. Every student gets their own dresser. There's two over here and one by the refrigerator. But these spaces have square drawers that are 10 inches wide and 9 inches deep. And then these ones have rectangular drawers that are 23 inches wide and 5 inches deep. There's also plenty of space on top for any other storage that you need. There's the closet spaces here for hanging your clothes. If you want to add a hanging closet organizer, this is a great place to do that if you need some more storage space. They also have hooks here for bags or coats and plenty of space on top for any extra storage. So these are the desk spaces. This one is a shared desk space and there's one over there for the other student. Each desk has three drawers, so plenty of storage space for stationery or anything else that you need to store. The desks also do come with a spinny chair. Each student gets one, so no need to bring that from home. There are outlets in this room, but I definitely recommend bringing a power strip just so that you have more access. A common question is, do I need to bring trash bins to my building? The answer is no. Each room comes equipped with trash bins, recycle bins, and a compost bin, and you'll dispose of those in the trash room in your building. So that's what a triple looks like. Now let's explore the laundry room. Come on in. These are the laundry rooms. There's a few per building. Each laundry room has washing machines and dryers and you can pay super easily using an app on your phone. Pro tip, set a timer for your laundry so you know exactly when it's done. You can come pick it up as soon as it's ready. So next, let's tour the bathrooms. These are the restrooms. They are all gender, unless you live on a single gender floor, so come on in. So these are the lockers. You can put your toiletries and things in here. Just make sure you bring your own lock. This is the sink space. There's outlets for doing your hair. Just make sure you don't use the sinks to do your dishes. There is a kitchen space to use for that instead. So these are the restrooms over here, and then the showers are over here. Each shower does have a door for maximum privacy and plenty of space to change, so don't worry about that. These are the study lounges. There's a few per building, so there's blackboards, and they do provide chalk, so go to the front desk if you want to ask for that. But there's plenty of table space to study, plenty of outlets to charge your computers, and there's a beautiful view on the balcony. kitchen space. There's an oven over here that has a stove top, great for baking, and then there's a larger refrigerator over here. There's a sink space in this area that also comes with a few more microwaves. Just remember you're sharing this space with the rest of the building, so label your stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, you can visit housing.berkeley.edu. Bye.